On the 27th of October 2013, over 120,000 sailors and Hungarians formed a 53 kilometer long human chain in Sacklerland to protest against the planned territorial and administrative reorganization of Romania, which would lead to the accelerated assimilation of Hungarians in Transylvania. On the same day, thousands of people organized solidarity demonstrations in cities throughout the world, including Ottawa and Toronto. In Ottawa, more than 70 people gathered in front of the Romanian embassy. I would like to present to you the Honorable Dr. David Kilgore, one of the longest serving members of parliament, equally for six years, Secretary of State for External Affairs, and now Ambassador Extraordinaire for Humanitarian Endeavors. First of all, uh, Deutsche Welle reported a couple of hours ago that uh, there were large crowds of people in both Romania and in Hungary protesting what's going on in uh, Transylvania. All of us across Canada know that uh, it's important to protect linguistic, cultural and religious minorities. As you all know, we have a lot of experiences to the contrary in our history, but that is behind us now. Now we try and protect all minorities, right? Yes. yes. Uh, um, we've come to accept the reality of our family national life that all are respected. And I wish the government of Romania would, uh, would, do, that, uh, would do that as well. The problem, that, as you know, there's a plan to incorporate the three into larger co counties that will have majority Romanian speaking. And I ask here, which I'm sure you are too, is that, uh, is this a coincidence or is this an attempt to assimilate a very important minority in, in uh, Transylvania, Romania? Uh, all of us, all of us know, you probably know a lot more than I do about what Ceausescu did. Didn't he actually plow villages down in, yes. uh, in the yeah, 80s? Right. Yes. yes. Well, it uh, seems to me that the present government in, in uh, Bucharest should not be following the lead of one of Hitler's worst dictators, and that they should, they should do the correct thing for the correct reasons. I understand, and finally, there's this disturbing case of, is it Turgo Muraz? Yes, Turgo Muraz. She tried to encourage the use of bilingual signs in a market, and they, uh, bilingual, and they find her $500 equivalent? Yes. Yep. Well, that's outrageous. Everybody in Canada knows that that's what, how you keep a country together is by respecting both uh, other languages. After the speech by the Honorable David Kilgore, a former cabinet minister and one of the longest serving MPs in the Canadian Parliament, 27 years that is, a petition was handed in to the second secretary of the Romanian embassy. The petition was prepared and signed by the National Alliance of Hungarians in Canada, an umbrella organization founded by 65 Canadian-Hungarian organizations in 2012. After this, the demonstrators marched through downtown Ottawa to Parliament Hill. Since 1920, the forced assimilation of Hungarians is the thinly disguised goal of Romania. Furthermore, Bucharest is now planning to embark on a territorial and an administrative reorganization of the whole country that would affect very harshly sacred land in particular by subdividing it into smaller regions and incorporating them into newly created administrative regions with a Romanian majority. 
once vastly outnumbered, the settlers' ability for self-governance on the local level in the areas of education, culture, and economy would diminish, ultimately leading to their total assimilation by the Romanian majority. Their traditional way of life and culture would slowly be wiped out and their centuries-old identity and special Hungarian dialect would be lost forever. Incidentally, this would break numerous bilateral agreements and international treaties that Romania has signed since World War I. At Parliament Hill, the demonstrators displayed their placards and slogans and after a while peacefully ended their protests.